welcome. Um, I'm so honored to have a few minutes with you. I'm always really grateful um, to get to spend time with this group. It feels like it's been a really long time since we've spent time together. Um, and given what all we're holding um, nationally and what each of us are holding in the personal transfiguration of this most complex time that we're in, it seems most appropriate to do um, some Wei Qi practices um, which are what I call the lifeguard body of practices. Um, so Wei Qi is guardian Qi. It's the energy that helps us feel like we're sufficiently resourced and like we have a relationship with our stability and like we have our finger on the pulse of our resiliency and integrity and inspiration. This body of practices, um, it capacitates our captaincy for um, for our sense of self-command, which I, I believe to be very, very important in times like right now. Make sure you're on mute, please. Um, uh, capacitating captaincy so that we can always hold the attitude and embody the stance that um, reprogramming is always an option. So whether that means that we're reprogramming, um, you know, a fear of death or just fear at large, or perhaps it's a fear of, um, you know, leveling up and living full power, like uh, in alignment with our birthright, um, maybe we need to reprogram um, our body or a particular system or organ in our body. Maybe we need to reprogram our metabolism or our sense of optimism, or our relationship to the aging process, or the way in which we can or cannot focus right now. Um, reprogramming, so um, capacitating captaincy with that. Uh, you know, all the old yogic scriptures um, and the, the yogic scientists who practiced these life ways, all of the old, um, you know, Taoist priests and early original Qigong masters, they were the rebels who knew how to, you know, reprogram. And, and we're no different. We're no different in that way. So, so why do we want to be good at reprogramming? Because when life pulls us off center, which life is doing a lot of that, um, when life pulls us off center, we want to have the ability to drop back into the nucleus um, as fast as possible and as cleanly as possible. So that's what I'm pointing to when I say capacitating captaincy. Um, so in a complex time like right now, we've got a multiplicity of transit experiences that are creating lines in our outlook you can see it in the visage of someone's face, whether it's, you know, like a sort of perma frown or a perma furrow in the brow. Um, you know, and we also have, we have these transit memories that we've been amassing and accumulating in all of the complex twists and turns of the whole length of our life. Um, so right now we're minded towards creating um, through these Wei Qi practices, minded towards creating, um, creating that inner attitude so that the, the transit memories and the transit lines are not haunting us, but we're actually holding them in a way that's very dignified and in a way that is very aligned with a fully alive expression of, of who we are. So close your eyes if you haven't already and tune into the breath. So everything today in these next many moments together is going to be gentle. The only thing that's going to be hyper are the first few moments here in a second where we're going to hyper oxygenate um, and just really um, bring life force in. Other than that, everything is going to be really, really gentle. So I want you to tune in right away to the compass of your heart to the compass of your heart and recognizing that where your heart is, that's where your mind is. And where your mind is, that's where your energy is. And where your energy is, that's where your power is. So tuning in, 
no particular sculpture necessary with the breath, but breathing deeply in a way that is conscious and bringing you into this moment, free falling into the focus of this moment only. So where the energy is, is where your power is and our energy, our life energy and our relationship to it and our um, capacity to move our life energy, it is the currency in our life. And if we don't have a sufficiency of energy, then we're broke on some level or another, right? And so that means that we're borrowing energy from tomorrow in order to feel full enough to get through today. And so the whole mandala of micro practices that we do in, inter in this integrated work, they're all designed to give, to make sure that you have enough inner resources, okay? And to make sure that you know that you are a renewable resource. You are a renewable resource. So one more breath here, just simply being. So we're gonna make fists for this first practice and we're just getting chi in the door. So if you jumped on late, we're focusing on Wei Chi, which is the guardian energy today. And these are lifeguard practices that are helping us to, um, to become more uh, proficient at steering our ship. So make a fist and you're gonna flick the fist. The whole arm will be moving, but you're flicking the fists at the end of your wrists. And we're gonna really work here with the whole vicinity of the lungs, also to the heart, but we're really focusing here on the lungs. This is important right now with what we're working with in the world. So let it be a chi boom. You wanna really feel a lot of energy moving. And then we'll work with the wind of the breath, wind breathing here. So join me. So you're opening up, keep breathing, even if I stop and start talking to you. Don't you love the way my voice sounds when I do this <laughs> while talking? Um, this is so important. Not only are you raising the energy of freedom inside of your body, get the whole vicinity, okay? Get the whole vicinity. But we know that about 80% or more of the total body detoxification processes are, are happening in our lungs. So really, unlock all the choke points so that you have a greater sense and a greater reality of freedom and flow in in the lungs just another another moment here and then bring the hands like so palms facing the ground and just rub the whole front gate of the body rubbing the organs and concentrating and consolidating and delivering love into all the mitochondria. We'll do two more. Communicating love to all the cells. Last one. Good, and then bring the hands here again in front of your body and then rotate the hands to face the sky and very slowly with lots of lots of presence in the fingers and in the spaces between the fingers bring the wei chi the guardian energy up over your face up over the top of the head back behind you so you're creating a kind of curtain or a, you could also see it as a kind of tunic that you are inside of that is um, its frequency is transparent and therefore kind of diaphanous but its strength and its capacity is like iron so we'll do this two more times this being two listening to the breath let it be very very gentle today when things are um, hyper accelerated and extrapolated and the, the sort of core verve of life as we know it, if it's characterized by lots of unknowns, slowing down in practice is, is always a good idea. So this will be our last gentle initial pass with the Wei Chi, capacitating your captaincy to re 
program anything that is pulling you off center. And then as the hands descend, bring them bring them to your lower Dantian. These are, these are such effective practices. They're super duper old school. Everything that I'm giving you today. These are old school practices that can heal us, but they're also so powerful, powerful that when we wield them with a particular kind of frequency, they also can destroy. And so sometimes we need to heal. Sometimes we need to cut through, but obviously we're not talking about the destruction of an opponent here, but maybe more so the uh, destruction of a quality that's holding back, holding us back from living fully, living fully. So watch here. I'm going to give you um, the choreography of this next flow. Um, it's a tiny little bit complex, but I, I really believe in never diluting the practices because um, I always want you to get um, the full richness. So the hands will begin um, with the palms facing away from the body. The, the hands are in between the kidneys at the doors of life. And then I'm gonna bring my left hand around slowly. And while you're doing this, my dog is snoring. Maybe you can hear it. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of undulatory uh, action going on in your spinal chi, in the bone marrow chi of your axis mundi. Okay, so I've brought my left hand around and it's in front of the belly. And then the arms are kind of like big chi brushes, calligraphy brushes that are painting the guardian chi, the wei chi around your body. So I've brought the right hand around. I'm gonna lift the right hand up so it's in front of the face and then I'll lower it down in front of my heart. And then I'll lift my left hand up also on a vertical alignment up in front of the face and back down to the hara and bringing the right hand up to the third dantian up to the crown and look to the left and then again paint with the chi brush following with the gaze This is such a rich, gentle, and incredibly nurturative practice that you could do this um, alone and move an immense amount of energy. You know, and all of us here in this community, we are A plus students. So I wanna really suggest to you in your relationship to this kind of work is to get committed in 2021 to doing some kind of 25 minute micro practice absolutely every day at some point in the middle of the day when you're watching your chi plummet and you're feeling it all go down the drain, commit to some kind of 25 minute micro practice. This is a good one, especially as things are a little bit nuts right now. Um, it's always going to be an absolute win and it will never interrupt your precious productivity. It will always elevate your productivity i promise you mark my word 25 minute micro practice and this is a good one so let's do it together so you can really get it you can get it in your system and you'll also be able to of course find it as a replay uh, at integratives.org which is your companion page so both hands at the doors of light life between your kidneys bring the left hand around and bring it in front of the lower dantian and then bring the right hand around and hover it in front of the left hand. Lots of energy in the hands. Feel the heat, feel your bone heat. Feel it in the skin. Bring the right hand up in front of the face and then right hand down to the heart. And then left hand in front of the right hand up to the face and down to the belly, working with the orbit, right hand up, palm facing the sky, looking to the left, and now look to the right as you bring the guardian chi all the way back around and place it in the center of your wheel. 
Lift the heart to the sky, open the arms out, drop the head back, lift the spine. So gentle. And then both hands back to the doors of life in between the kidneys, palms of the hands facing away from the body. Tuning in again, where your heart is, that is where your mind is, where your mind is, that is where your energy is, and where your energy is, that is where your power is. So lift the power, lift the lights, on your power. Bring the right hand out in front. And then bring the left hand out in front, bringing the left hand in front of the right hand. Lift the left hand to the face. And back down to the heart. And bring the right hand hand up to the face and up over the head look to the right and now look to the left as you paint the chi around you guardian chi it's a kind of an invisible field that's feeding your clarity both hands here hovering for a moment in front of the lower dantian and open the hands and the arms lift the heart to the sky and then bring the hands back again. Bring the left hand to the belly and then the right hand to the belly. And bring the right hand to your face. the left, palm of the right hand facing the sky, and now look to the right. Both hands hovering over the lower dantian. Working on the habit of quietude. Our habits are where we are going, they are who we are becoming, our habits steer our character, bring both hands back to the low back. And so it's very important to pay attention to our habits. Right hand fanning around in the chi brush, the way you chi brush, just so patient in the timeless immensity. Left hand around, hover the left hand in front of the right hand. Check in with the nature of your breathing body. Not just a couple of nostrils breathing, but a whole body being breathed. Left hand to the face and then left hand to the heart. Let this cultivate your resiliency. Your resiliency, which helps us to become a little more anti-fragile, less breakable. Left hand up. A resiliency, which gives us a longer fuse. Look to the right. And then look to the left as you fan the arms back around. Lift the heart to the sky. And then slowly bring the hands back to the doors of life and rest there for a moment. This time bring the backs of the hands stacked as they are to the body, so there's physical contact there in that way. So when we have a habit of stillness, we have a relationship to our inner quietude, then we can make our choices and we can respond um, in life from a place that expresses our commitment to our highest state of aliveness. So just another moment here in this place. Good. So another really important Wei Chi practice that I want to give to you today is the archer flow. Okay. 
So it, um, it is simultaneously the embodiment of what I was just talking about, this chi capacity to both heal and destroy. Okay, so we're working with arrow energy so that we have, um, you know, an immense amount of agency in the prefrontal cortex of the brain, allowing that part of the brain to really be our sentinel. So watch, I want to, um, I want to demonstrate and then we'll do it back and forth. This is a really beautiful, you know, any of these old chi forms, whether it's a whole choreography of them or an isolated individual expression of something, there's a billion different ways that they can be expressed. So I really want to articulate, like, make it your own, you know, make it your own. And this particular um, expression is very fluid um, and therefore very um, pleasurable to, to embody. So watch. So I've found my arrow. Now I'm going to, here's the chi brush again. I'm going to brush to the side and then pull the arrow back and then chi brush to the side. So I'm really allowing for the full collapse and rearrange in the complex and intricate ecosystem of the belly. Okay, so let's do this together. Notice that I'm also looking fully side to side. So, um, you know, there's all kinds of um, neuro responses and neurochemicals that get released that are good for us when we're active. And so we're active, but I also want to remind you to let this be, let these Wei Chi movements be deeply meditative as well. Let them really quite notice I'm almost whispering at you. <laughs> I'm almost whispering. Let it be that quiet, inwardly so. Okay, so sitting up nice and straight. And we'll, for the sake of being unified, we're gonna draw the arrow back with the left hand, let the left elbow be up a little bit, and then shoot with the right hand. Just have all five of those fingers pointing up. And now look to the left as the chi brush of the right arm swoops, and then begin the transition. Collapsing and rearranging in the ball of the belly. Chi brush. Now become aware in that mythopoetic dimension of what's going on. Become aware of the Wei Chi around your body that's protecting you. Become aware of the agency of the brain that's awakening and steering you, capacitating the captaincy. So without me polluting our space with words, let's just do it quietly for a few more moments.
Let's point each direction. So we have programs that are running inside of us that are subconscious. We have programs that are from the collective. And we have all those glorious epigenetic programs. You know, in, in the awakening community, there's a lot of um, talk around, um, you know, the epigenetic or the ancestral traumas that we carry along. But I want to be, go ahead and bring it back through to center. I want to be the voice that reminds you that if there is some sort of epigenetic um, trauma that's going on inside of you, the polarity points to the fact that there's also going to be some sort of ancestral wisdom that you can tap into. So use the power that is put in your hands and positioned in the prefrontal cortex of your brain when you do these practices to get closer to that ancestral wisdom and to get closer to your individual wisdom and use these practices, yeah, to meditate, yeah, to self-heal, yeah, to pierce through the, the limiting beliefs and to um, cultivate, um, you know, self-command and self-esteem and self-exaltation, but also use the power that wakes up within you use it as the smart business people that you are use it to create strategy in the workplace use it to move the ball forward wherever it is that you're applying yourself because this chi doesn't have to stay on your cushion take it with you wherever you go it is a most quiet and powerful helpmate that will that will show up and shine with you as you for you um, in a most radiant way. This is what, what can be called, you know, in the yogic sciences, this is called pranic radiance. And, you know, we think, oh, well, radiance and that kind of uh, glow has to do with youth, has nothing to do with chronology. This pranic radiance is something that we can be ripening as very old people. Take this power and apply it to every facet of the jewel of your life. So moving right along, I'm just going to do a quick time check. We're going to work with a chi knife here for a moment. Okay, so turn your hands into blades and we're going to get into the 500 plus million nerve cells that are in your stomach and in your intestine. Okay, so you're going to orient the chi knives in toward that part of your body and then you're going to vibrate and you're gonna do this while hinging forward a little bit, but also while sitting up. So you wanna get in there and vibrate the chi knife. So go as deep as you comfortably can. You know, you don't wanna, you're, you're really not capable of bruising yourself necessarily, but get in there as, let it be effective. Okay, so chi knife in and then vibrate. So this is helping us cut through and to mobilize some of the, you know, bioaccumulated toxicity that that we have in these precious fragile yet totally robust human bodies that we're living in and through so dynamize some of that stuff all right so now we're going to do the same thing go ahead and reach forward release it Get the chi knife and then I want you to do the wind breathing again. So this is in and out of the nose, it's like breath of fire. Find your pace, it doesn't have to be my pace, um, but find that rhythm that is, um, that's giving life to your life while vibrating the chi knives um, and using the breath to detox the body. and release it one more time. 
Hopefully you're feeling the heat of that. So uh, sit, take a moment to just sit in what all has started to move as we start steering towards, towards the end uh, of our practice. So I want you to take your, the nail segment uh, of the end of the ring fingers and bend it down. So we're in the five finger uh, Kung Fu here and really pressurize through the hands. Okay, so feel it, the same kind of pressurization and aliveness and activation in your feet as well. So take your hands and your arms down and out at a nice deep earth facing diagonal and bring your attention into the palms of your hands. And now with the feet also activated, bring your attention simultaneously into the arches of the feet. So this is palm and soul breathing. So similarly to what we were just doing with the chi knife in getting some of, uh, some of the stuff in the organs moving so it can get out of us, um, we're gonna work with that same kind of breathing. We'll just keep it in the same track, okay? So look at the tip of the nose while you do this practice. You're very familiar with this, especially in this cohort. I've given you this um, assignment for the, for the gazing uh, for many months now. Okay, so look at the tip of the nose and really let the whole abdominal wall um, work powerfully so that you're, so every time you exhale, the abs are pulling in. So that's really informing the bellow of the lungs, the bellows breath. Keep spreading the toes, keep pressurizing through the fingers, spreading the toes, pressurizing the fingers and creating a conversational energetic connection between the palms of the hands and the arches of the feet. A couple more uh, breath cycles here. Even when I stop and talk, keep the practice going. Let this practice, this practice of palm and soul breathing, let it get you connected to the face that you had, that you were the face that you had before you were born, the face that is free of any of the transit lines from the transit memories of this complex time or from the whole line of your life. Free fall into the freshness of the moment and allow your face, experience your face as being completely relaxed. Experience all the systems of your body in their knowledge and in their innate wisdom to know how to be well. A couple more pulsations in the breath. So this captaincy that these Wei Qi practices gives us, this captaincy helps us to, again, occupy the attitude that reprogramming is always an option. Even if the programs seem to have been written potentially in some kind of negative way, and we've got a lot of that going on around us, right? And we certainly, because of the way the human experience is, we've got some semblance of it going on inside too. Even if the program seemed to have seemed to potentially have been written in some kind of negative way, we can still reprogram it patiently, compassionately, with endurance and focus. So I want to do one more practice. Okay, this is called the Heavenly Drums practice. This is a beautiful one. So you're going to stack your um, middle fingers on top of the index fingernail, and then that middle finger is going to flip off of the nail of the index finger. So that's what's happening. But that's happening back behind this 
point, this brow center, which is a gate into your prefrontal cortex. Okay, so you're gonna beat the heavenly drums like so. So your hands become, your fingers rather become like um, the mallets that you would use to play the instrument, which is the mind, the, playing the instrument of the mind, cultivating a frequency of transparency so that you can get out of the fog and stay out of the fog and have focus as your ally for all the ways that you want to focus yourself. Okay, so I'd like for you to do the classic number of repetitions, which is 24. Okay, so 24 beats on the drum of the mind and then allow the hands to, at that point, descend and alight upon the knees. So let's do the thing. Oh, did I say? You wanna seal your ears off with the palms of the hands. Seal the ears off so there's a little bit of sensory deprivation. And again, look at the tip of the nose. So, enjoy. Oh, one last moving part. Breath of fire, okay? Get the wind, the medicine wind going in the body. taking awe-inspiring kind of radiance that lights up the room before you even step into the room. Radiance like a quasar. Experience that quality in your own beingness. Bring the radiance points, which are the pads of the fingertips, bring the radiance points of your thumbs together and then feather fan all other eight fingers out like so and hover this heart protection seal in front of the heart and have one more quiet moment of tuning in to the Wei Qi, the guardian energy, the lifeguard energy that you woke up within you. The Wei Qi isn't something that's outside of you. It's in you always. Try to remember to call upon it and to build a relationship with it as much as you can. And working with these Wei Qi practices seasonally for those of us here in uh, the dream time of winter, this is a season for a slow design. It's a season for slow design. And so the Wei Qi work is very much aligned with that as a, as a spotlight. breaths that are coming to you from all the way back and that are coming to you from all the way forward both and primordial breathing now release the hands from the heart heart protection seal and one more pass communicating love into the mitochondria of the body
sharing some of this meeting today with me and allowing me to offer you some elements from our IP portfolio, Sadhguru.